we're back. And uh, this is episode five. Welcome back. This is the great unboxing of my abandoned comic book collection that I have acquired. And uh, we have been through four of the long boxes. So we are starting on the fifth long box now. Let's get to it. All right, so we're in the tease with this box. First thing up is thing number one. And I see Tomb Raider here, I see Turok. So those are the ones I see right off the bat. Um, so let's get into this and find out what we got. So first one we have here is thing number one, which is awesome. I remember collecting that. Number two. Sticker on the outside. Number four. Number five. Number 23. Twenty-four. With Rhino. 25. Oh man, I remember that cover. I wonder if this is when he joined the wrestling group. 25 again. 26. 27. 28. Yeah, UCW. That's when he joined it. Got something, okay, two copies. Twenty-nine. Two copies of that. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. 33 and 34 the Sphinx geez haven't seen him in forever the thing with Miss Marvel the end of the thing number 36 Was that the last issue? That may have been the last issue. It didn't run that long. So number 36, final issue. Dark Horse, the thing from another world. Thumping Guts from Kitchen Sink Comics, number one. Thunder. Tales, Frank Frazetta's classic jungle action comic. Number one, Fantagraphics. The Time Machine from Eternity, number one. Ooh, Tim Tyler's look. From King Comics featuring Felix. I don't see a number on here. Definitely an older book. You can tell the staples are way inside, so it's definitely slid over some. Tear on the corner. That's an old book there. The Amazing Adventure of the Zebra with Spots. <laughs> New Teen Titans number one. Nice. All right, so this is the free comic book day Tomb Raider from Image. And Tomb Raider number one. Number two. Number three, 
Great covers. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Number twelve. Wow, nice run. And there's ends the run. Number fourteen. Number fifteen. Number sixteen. Number eighteen. So skipping seventeen. Nineteen. And twenty. Sure what that is, unless that's an alt cover, some variant. I'm not sure. That'd be number twenty-one. So this is this is twenty, and then this one might be twenty-one. This one goes to twenty-two. 23, 24, skipping ahead to 32, 33, 33 variant cover, 35 and then Tomb Raider Journeys number 1A this is 1B I don't know why I started putting them over here. This is stupid. Number three. Number four. Number five. Tomb Raider number forty two. Journeys number 12, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Epiphany number one, Tomb Raider number 25, these are all mixed up, Tomb Raider Witchblade, Tomb Raider the Wolfman, number two. Tomb Raider Gallery. Tomb Raider Gallery, so that must be an alternate cover. Okay, Tomo Zero from Crusade. Looks like 1996, 95, somewhere in there. Number two, Tomo. Second, with a sticker on it, of course. Tomo number three. 
So this is weird. Like, okay, so this is by Connor95 and by Wong96. So maybe done like, I don't know, on the split. Not sure. Tomo Unforgettable something. Sticker lore or something. Number one. Tomo Witchblade. Wow. Witchblade crossover, huh? Book Crusade, number one. Core number two. Wow, that's an old one. That's gotta be like early 70s. Joe Kubert. Love his artwork. Number four. So gold key, Trag and the Sakai Gods. This is uh, 6 I just don't understand Gold Key's numbering process at all. I right, said so this is Trag and Sky Gods from Whit from Whitman, number nine. Looks like. It's a gold key spotlight track in the sky gods. Great cover. 709. Free comic book day. Transformers infiltration. Free comic book day. Transformers and official movie preview. Number one. Holy cow. So this is volume four, number 12, February 8th, 1949. Treasure chest of fun and fact. Michael Hone, I love you. Very tour. So thanks for marking that up. 1949, that's crazy. Treasure chest of fun in fact. This is 1966, volume 22, number five. Troll, Lloyd, Troll Lords with a sticker on it from True Studios, number seven. Number nine with a sticker. Number 10 with a sticker. Rock, Son of Stone, from Gold Key, number 603, 9030030-603. So this is 129 from Whitman, Turok. And from Whitman, number 130. So this is Turok Dinosaur Hunter from Valiant, number one. Looks like a full cover. Oh, with a uh, card on it. Nice. Two copies. Number two. Two copies. Number four. Number four again. Number five. Another copy. Another copy. Number six. Another copy. Number eight, number 11, number 12, number 13, 
number 15, number 16, number 18, guest starring XO Manowar, 19, 20, So this is Turok the Hunted Special 1 of 2 from Valiant. Another copy. And number 2 of 2. Turok Dinosaur Hunter Yearbook number 1. Turok Time Walker, number one of two. Is this the new Turok number two? So that's not Time Walker. So Turok number four. Turok the Empty Souls. From Acclaim Comics, Valiant Heroes. I don't have a number on here. Nice cover though. Uh, here we have Elite Comics, The Twilight Avenger number one. Never heard of that in my life. I'm not even familiar with Elite Comics. So if you know anything about them, do me a favor and hit me up with a comment, let me know. Alright, I got Twilight Zone from Now Comics. Premiere issue. Number two. Oh, this is written by J. Michael Straczynski. Nice. Andrew Barlow number three, Twilight Zone. Number three again. Number four from Chuck Dixon. Number five. Number six. All right, this is Twisted Tales number one from PC. Number two. Number two again. Number four. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. The Twisted Tales of Bruce Jones from Eclipse Comics, number two. Number three. Number four. UFO Encounters. Oh, they got stickers on them, man. Golden Press, 128 pages, so it's a graphic novel. Pretty much soft cover. Though. Gold key UFO flying saucers. Some of these saw some of these in the other box. Sticker on the outside, good. UFO and outer space 
from Gold Kit. What is this? So this is a different one, I guess. UFO in outer space number 24. This one don't have a number that one does. And they went from 35 to 40. UFO flying saucers, 25 cents, so that's older. <clears throat> UFO flying saucers again. This one's Whitman, but I don't see a number on it. Yeah. Looks like it was blacked out, but it wasn't blacked out by uh, like it was blacked out by the publisher, which is weird. Uh, Umbrella Academy from Dark Horse Free Comic Book Day. Marvel Uncanny Tales from the Grave number nine. The Nightmare Men. All right, last three stacks here. This is DC's The Unexpected, number 142. 20 cents, jeez. One sixty-three. So this is number 193 from 1979. Includes the House of Secrets and the Witching Hour comic. So it's three comics in one. Nice. Number 196. Number 197. Number 198. Number 199. 200. Nice. Another copy. 206. 207. 211. 213. Are you guys familiar with this? I've never even heard of this book, but man, it lasted a while. I mean, I know it's from the early 70s, but wow. Or late 70s, rather, 79, I guess. Two sixteen. All right, so this is Underworld from IDW. Looks like the, like the movie adaptation. There's no number. Brian Polito's Unholy, number one from Avatar. Unicorn Isle, number one from Warp Graphics. Go back. Number two. This is part, okay, so it's a 12 part fantasy adventure. So let's we'll see if you have the entire run here. I guess not. <laughs> so the American Comics Group, ACG, Unknown Worlds, number 56. Only 12 cents, so it's an old one. 60 something. Definitely got some wear on it. Up from the deep. Rip off press, adults only. I don't see a number. Valeria the She Bat from Windjammer, number two. Valiant Reader, volume one, 1993. Valiant Vision starter kit, number one. 
Dark Horse and Maverick, The Valkyrie, book two, number one of three. Man, so random. Charlton Comics, number eight, Valley of the Dinosaurs. Oh, that's a oh Hannah and Barbera adaptation. Vampire's Lust from Boneyard Press. Enchanting Monks Productions. Number three in a three issue miniseries. Beware the Vampire Kiss. Air Cell number one. Adults only. Vanguard Illustrated, number one from PC. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number seven. Vanity from PC number one. Number two. Victorian number 25. Oh, that's a thick book. Act 2 of 2, I believe. That's what it says. Victorian number 15. Victorian number nine. Interesting covers. Never heard of this. Victorian source book number one. Victorian number one from nineteen ninety March of nineteen ninety nine. Raggedy Ann, little eight ball homework. Wow, this is old, old, old. So this is New Funnies from Dell. Ten cents. Okay. Dell Comet. Walter Lance New Funnies, number. I don't see a number on it. So this is September 103, 10 cents, and this is September. So I'm not sure of the date, but man, it's old. King Size Annual Warlord of Mars, number one from 1977, Marvel. Nice. <clears throat> John Carter, Warlord of Mars, Annual number two. Warlord of John Carter, Warlord of Mars, number 11. Ed, Origin of Deja Thoris. They just adapted the books. I read those books. The books are really good. The problem I had with them is that the, um, like I read the first three or four and then they became very formulaic, really formulaic. And I just got kind of bored with them. So I didn't read like, I think there was like 11 of them, 12 of them. Uh, and I only read like the first three or four. I remember Days of Thoris for sure. Tars Tarkus Battles Alone, number 18. Annual number two, again. Warp from First Comics, issue number one with a sticker. Number two with a sticker. Number three. 
three with a sticker. OMG, I'm dead. <laughs> Number four with a sticker. Number five with a sticker. Come on, man. Number six with a sticker. Number seven with a sticker. Number eight with a sticker. Weight of the rat from cross gen number one. Weight of the rat number two. Nice covers. I like those covers. Number four. Number five. So this is Chuck Dixon writing. Nice. Wow. Welcome back, Cotter number five. <laughs> That's so funny. DC TV comic. Werewolf by Night number 11. Werewolf by Night number 21. That's a shame he didn't have number 10. I think that's the first appearance of Moon Knight. Where Creatures Roam, number two from Marvel. Number three. Oh, why can't you have number one? These are some old books. Four. Ten. No, it's Gruto, the creature from nowhere. Number 11, where monsters dwell. So did they change? So that's where creatures roam. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the swap. Where monsters dwell, number 10. Where monsters dwell, number 11. 15. 15, oh, 13, 15, 17, 18, 20, 24, 37. Who wants to be a superhero from Dark Horse Free Comic Book Day? The Wicked, number one from Avalon on Image. These guys got a little bit of a bend in them. Wicked Limited Tour Edition, number one. Two, okay. Wicked number two. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Free comic book day, while well, I was about comics. Tops Comics, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, The Wild Ones. Introducing Big Red, number one of three. All right, so that's it for uh, box number five. Some crazy stuff in there, some old stuff, old DC, uh, some old Walter Lance stuff. Um, the Thing number one, which is really cool. And entire, that entire run of Laura Croft Tomb Raider from Image, Top Cow. Just some really crazy stuff in there. Really cool in that box. So that was really nice. 
Uh, let's hope the next box does as well. This could be a mess. I honestly don't, don't know what's the front and what's the back here. So a lot of these are uh, <clears throat> not bag, not bat. Throwing in a bag. Yeah, this could be a trash box. I don't know. But we'll start going through it and find out, I guess. Let's see what I got here. Uh, of course. Stickers, stickers, Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery, Ithac. Man, I have that freaking collection. What are you doing messing that up, bro? Oh, this is the Marvel edition. Sticker anyway. Shannon the She Devil from Marvel, 25 cents. Dean Kuntz Frankenstein, 25 cents. Battlestar Galactica, 25 cents. EverQuest. Oh my goodness. They did, I didn't know they did a book of this. So this is a hard. It's got a sticker on it. Ruins of Kunark. That was a good expansion. I played EverQuest for quite a while. Played a uh, shaman ogre named Grimash. Uh, no? What was his name? I can't remember. Anyway. Yeah, we used to have a ball, man. I, I, ooh, I remember that place. Shanna the She-Devil, number 25. Buffy. Buffy, number 20. All these got stickers on them. Emma Frost, number three. Emma Frost, number four. Emma Frost, number 18. Emma Frost, number one. All with stickers, man. Just. Will Eisner Spirit with a sticker, number 23. DC Unexpected, number 34. 185. Wow, it's an old one. And it has a sticker on it. Twilight Zone from Whitman with a sticker. Star Trek from Whitman with a sticker. Again with a sticker. No numbers. Tarzan from Marvel with a sticker. Number 18. DC The Warlord. Number 116. Angel after the fall. Sigil with a ripped off sticker from Cross Gen. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number Roos, number two, number three, number four. All with stickers. Awesome Mystery from Vertigo, number 16. Number 21, number 22, all these got stickers on them, and Courtney, Crimson, Angel After the Fall, Cover Gallery, Volume 1, it's a nice book, Angel, 153, oh that's Dark Horse Presents, number 153, Angel Issue 2, Angel from IDW, number one. All with stickers, just disgusting. Man. Courtney Crump Crumrin, number six. Battlestar Galactica, number 12 from Dynamite. The Buccaneer from Monster Comics. Voyages of the Buccaneer. 1992. I don't see a number on it though. Got a sticker though. White Tiger, number two from Marvel, number one. Both with stickers. That's awesome. That's oh, nice condition too. <sighs> Killing me. Fantastic Four, 311. Sticker. 310. And I remember when he had the Jagged Rocks. 270. 373. Green Hornet Year 1. Number 11. Number 
10. Number three. Tomb of Dracula from Marvel. All with all with stickers on them, man. Number 69. Tarzan number 26. Fantastic Four 359. Fantastic Four 344. 363. Tomb of Dracula number 40. Zealot from Image. Oh, number one. Love Zealot. Loved her in Wildcats. Sticker. Battlestar Galactica number four. Number ten. Number five. I'll turn these around now. Vamp Fire from Broadsword Comics number two. Dark Shadows with a sticker. Dark Shadows with a sticker. 404. Dark Shadows 006. Oh, that's, oh, that's 15 cents, man. That means it's like early 60s. Possibly earlier. No, 1970. Okay. Oh, man. We have a sticker on it from Dell. The Little Rascals. 1961. October, December, 1961. Mighty Isis from DC TV. Oh, yeah. I remember that. What was that? Number five. Dark Shadows, 308. Number 21, 1973. Crimson Plague from Image with a sticker. And Rice is the Vampire Lestat, number one from Innovation with a sticker. Man, all these stickers, jeez. Garbage. Just not bag, not back, not taken care of. Kabuki, number six. Red Sonia, zero. Phantom 2040 with a sticker number one. Painkiller Jane number zero with a sticker. All these have stickers, man. All of them. Misplaced number one from Image. The official Mandrake number 15. 89. Kabuki icon number one. Oh, the alchemy number one. Kabuki the Alchemy number two, number three, number four, all the stickers. Here's a Rocketeer, yep. Number three. Just all facing the opposite way now. Looks like it. So let me turn them over here. So. Swamp Thing from Vertigo, number 21, 1602, seriously, part 8, A-list comics, Wings comics, number 2, Star Wars from Dark Horse, number 19, Spike After the Fall from IDW, number 3, Kabuki Alchemy, number 7, Kabuki Alchemy number eight. Kabuki Alchemy number nine. All with stickers. Grimoire number four from Speakeasy number five. Number six. Number seven. These are actually in really good shape, except they have all the stickers on them. Frankenstein from DC. Number two. That was number one. Yeah. Number two. Number three, great shape, so I'll have stickers. Doctor Strange, number 65. Dead Like Me, from Piranha Press. Daredevil, number 53. 
Concrete number one of four. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs one. Spike number three after the fall. Secret War book one of five. What a sticker. Great cover. Awesome. Way to ruin it. Number two. Number three. Number four. And Secret War book five of five. Oh, with stickers. Thanks a lot. I mean, I don't even know if, like, even with the stickers, like, I mean, look at the condition of these. These are fantastic. Wait, go and put a 25 cent clearance sticker on there. Who, ugh, morons. Just annoying. All right, here's some weird stuff. Spirit number 71. No sticker. Chamber of Chills number two. From Marvel. Oh, number one. Nice. Chamber of Chills from Marvel. Chamber of Darkness number one from Marvel. Wow. Tower of Shadows, number one, from Marvel. Charlton Comics, Strange Suspense Stories, number two. Captain Adam, number 83. Plus all new adventures of the Blue Beetle. Is this DC? I don't see DC on here anywhere. Ditko. I don't see a... I mean, I see CDC up there, but that's not... DC, you will believe in ghost number 86. Ghosts number 79. Secrets of Haunted House number 24. Secrets, secrets of so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> secrets of haunted house number three. Okay. So not back to it. It is bagged. Old bag. House of Secrets number 152. These are bagged in magazine bags. House of Secrets number 141. House of Secrets number 133. 132, 124, comedy, coming in on the beam, reader rice, January, plenty of fun, 35 cents, so I don't know how old that is, but. Interesting. Okay. 
Oh man, saw him earlier in another box. Feature Comics, number 89 from July. Wow, this is an old book. Quality comic group. Uh, Betty Page in Jungle Land, CCP Conquest, number zero. Not bagged, not backed. It's like all photo stories, 1992. Okay, this could be back to trash. Well, maybe not. I don't see a sticker on that one. No, some of these are bagged and back. X-Wing Rogue Squadron number 24. Tales of the Jedi number 4 of 5. Twilight Zone number 1 with a sticker. But I had this one backed in uh, box four, uh, box 5, so that's cool. It's box six, man. This box six is just bizarre. Man. Tales of the Jedi Redemption number 505. Episode one, Queen Amidala. Nice cover, really good condition. Star Wars from Dark House, Dark Horse number 25. Star Wars Knight Errant. Number one, with a sticker, of course. Of course, with this, of course, with a sticker. Boba Fett. Oh, stickers on the outside. Good. Agent of Doom. That's good. It, stickers are on the outside, so that's good. Same thing here. X-wing Rogue Squadron number twenty-five. The making of Baron Fell. Oh, Mike Stackpole. He wrote most of those books. I read all those books. I read all the novels, so I love I love Rogue Squadron. Never never really collected the comic books though. Crimson Empire six of six, outside sticker good. Four of six, two of six, one of six. So one, two. Four and six. Okay. Shadow Stalker. All the stickers are on the outside, so I'm very thankful for that. All bagged and backed. Mara Jade, four of six. Union, number one. The Wedding of Luke and Mara. Mara. I don't know why. Well, I know why, because Disney sucks. But man, if they had just put the two of them together in the in the sequels, what a much better story. Union two of four. X Wing Rogue Squadron number twenty one. Twenty three. Twenty two. So that's out of place there. Star Wars number 12 with Outlander. Nice. Stickers are all on the outside, so that's good. Let's see it. Mary Jade, one of six. And these are all just mixed together. Jedi Academy, three of four. Star Wars Tales, number five. This is the uh, hardbound book. 64 pages. I say hardbound, not hardbound, but more like graphic novel type. <clears throat> Star Wars 27. Star Crash One Shot. Darth Maul, 4 of 4. Episode 1, Qui Gon Jinn. Star Wars 13. Innovation Torchy Summer Fun Special. Pretty random. It's got tape on the cover though. 
Escape from Wonderland number three, Grim Fairy Tales presents from Xenoscope. X Files season one from Tops. Graphic novel, basically. Treasure Chest, volume 23, number 11, January 25th, 1968. Not great condition, but Douglas MacArthur. Wish that was bagged. John Carter, Warlord of Mars, number five. Giant battle issue. Number six. Hey, at least these don't have uh, stickers on them. Number seven. Treasure chest again. This is uh, volume 22, number 13, 1967. Twenty two, number one from 1966, treasure chest. Wow. 23, number 4 from 1967. Volume 23, number 12 from 1968. This one's kind of beat up. Xenoscope Entertainment Product Catalog from Winter. So it's just a catalog. We have a sticker and a sticker. Shadow Strikes, number 11. Green Hornet, number one, of course, with a sticker, which I think I had this in uh, episode, last episode. I think I had this. I'm not sure. Did I have number one? But anyway, with a sticker. Fathom Zero with a sticker. Fathom Number One with a sticker. Elf Quest Siege at Blue Mountain, number eight, with a sticker. Elf Quest number six, Daredevil Fall from Grace finale with a sticker, number 325. Thanks a lot. Dirty Pair 2 with a sticker, number 5 of 5, 4 of 4. Conan and the Barbarian 265 with a sticker. Bloodstone number 1, sticker. Battlestar Galactica, one shot, Pegasus. The sticker Star Trek Next Generation number three sticker number four sticker number six sticker and classic Star Wars number eight from Dark Horse sticker. Okay, this is crazy. This is Amazing Stories June 25 cents. $25 price tag on it. The Shaver Mystery. Volume 1, number 6, June 1947. Wow. Crazy. Okay. Oh, Frazetta? Really? Fantastic Art of Frank Frazetta, book one and book two. That's awesome. I love his artwork. Death Dealer. His stuff is just so good. It just set such a standard for fantasy artwork when he, when he came out. I used to have, oh, that's just, that's a close-up of the picture. That's so awesome. I used to have posters and stuff on my wall when I was a kid. It's 
So great. That's cool. Van Perella number 88 from 19, July 1980. $10 price tag on the outside. It's got a comic book back on it. That's dangerous, but relatively good condition. Erie Magazine, number 65. Vampirella number 19 with a magazine back on it. Good. Super special issue. Charlton Comics Space Adventures number 9. Price on the outside. Like you're supposed to do it. Nice. It's just so crazy in here. So much garbage, but there's so much good stuff in here too. Vampirella from Harris. Best Comics Tomorrow Stories, number one. Innovation Interview with a Vampire, number five. Panther. Oh, this was in one of the very first boxes I opened, but it wasn't taken care of. Harris Comics. That was, yeah, one of two. 202. It's nice, so he has them actually taken care of. Tarzan the Beckoning, number one, from Malibu. Evil Ernie. <laughs> from Adventure Comics. Oh, wow. First insane issue. That's awesome. Where's Smiley? I gotta see Smiley. From Eternity Comics, Evil Ernie, number four. Evil Ernie number two. There's Smiley. Evil Ernie the Resurrection number two from Chaos. Boy, he bounced around. The Rook. Premier edition issue. Wow, so yeah, I had a whole, there was a whole run of the, oh, it's just number two. That's number one. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool because I had in, in the second magazine box, there was a whole run of these, and I think I was, it was missing issue number one. That's pretty cool. Buck Blaster, Bolt, and Tin Man. <laughs> Angel after the fall, number four with Sticker, sticker, angel, angel, angel number 10. Hmm, bags and bags, nice. Twilight Zone from Now Comics number 7. Star Trek Next Generation number 50. Double size, special issue. Eclipse Comics Star Ridge Classics number two. Whitman Starstream. Larry Niven, really? Adventures in Science Fiction. Larry Niven's Time Travel Fantasy The Flight of the Horse. Robert Silverberg's Collecting Team. And wow. That's pretty cool. Niven and Silverberg aren't no uh, slackers. Some nice adaptations. 79 cents. Okay. Charlton Group, Ghostly Haunts, number 52. 
Blood of Dracula number one from Apple. Captain America 353 with the Soviet Supreme Soviets. I think I remember that issue. Wow. That was like somewhere back around like 86, 87, maybe. Boneyard by Richard Moore. Issue 28. Boy, it's been stuck together for a while. Archie Adventure Series, The Mighty Crusaders, number seven. Mighty Crusaders from Red Circle Group, number five. Conan the Barbarian, number seven. King size, oh, annual number seven. <clears throat> Dang, for me out, I was like, that, don't, that looks a little bit new to be number, issue number seven, but yeah, that's the annual. King size annual number six. Star stream again. I don't have a number on that. Thick book, man. Charlton Comics, Flash Gordon, number 17. Dazzler, number 33, in Chiller. That's funny. 34. I love Dazzler. She's always been one of my favorites for some reason. 37. 20. Remember when she had the roller skates? <laughs> well, well, there you go, yeah. She had the roller skates up in the icon picture. 32. That freaked me out for a second. I thought that was Spider-Man number one. And I was like, no freaking way. So this is the Spider-Man Collectible Series, Volume 3. That'll stop your heart for a second. Vampirilla of Draculon, number zero. Silver Anniversary Edition. I kind of got to catch my breath a little bit, man. For a second, I thought I just found a monster. <laughs> uh, we're back to the stickers. Space Family Robinson from Gold Key. Number 37, 1973. Ghosts, number 68. Warlord, number 87. 83. Eighty six, all the stickers. Fantastic Four, three twenty two, three fifty four, three fifty two, three fifty one, sticker, 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 three seventeen. 316, 361, man, it's killing me. Not bag, not back, got the stickers on them. 364, 341, 327. Buffy, Vampire Slayer number 24. Number 17, number 38, 
39. Why you gotta write it so tiny, man? 11, angel after the fall. Angel 12, angel 14, sticker, 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 sticker. 15, 15 again, 16, what? Oh, cover A, cover B. Okay, so it's a, ooh, both have stickers, so it doesn't matter. So if you, and if you wonder about these stickers, like does that devalue the book? Absolutely. But trying to remove those stickers would do more damage to it. So while the book, you know, if, you, if you're worried about, you know, the, the price of the book and valuing the book, the sticker definitely affects that. But trying to remove it and actually damaging the book would make it even worse. So while it does lower the value of the book and while it is annoying, you can still read it. It's still perfectly readable. I think it, it, it's, it's um, unfortunate, but it doesn't affect the reading of it. It's just annoying that they're all on there because I just, that is just, I mean, coming out of the 90s, like these books right here, coming, I think these books were like, when was this, like 19, 2009, so they should know better, whoever did it, they should know better. So angel number 16, angel 18, sticker, sticker, 30, sticker, 38, Buffy number 9, angel number 7, angel number 10. Alright, so here's Vampirella number 5, from Harris. That's a, oh, <laughs> Rawbone, number nine from Avatar, no, issue four from Avatar. Amazing Spoof Heroes Swimsuit Issue, number four, 1993. Sugar Virus from Adamika Warren Ellis. Nice. Never heard of it. Femme Fatales, Sirens of CD ROM. So this is a magazine. Whoa, that took my manhood. Wildcat Adventures. October A. Night the Girls Ran Wild. October A. Okay. Wildcat February A twenty dollar. What twenty dollar price tag? Twelve dollar price tag. Wow, that's an old one. And we're back to the stickers. Angel eight. Fantastic Four, Four? Oh, Marvel, Ugh. Official Marvel Index to the Fantastic Four, number four. <laughs> Man, that's the second time. Nineteen eighty-six, sheesh. Fantastic Four Unlimited, number two. Glory number four, unlimited number one, <sighs> with a sticker, 1993, Warlord 107, Legion of Superheroes 303 sticker. Fantastic Four, 315, 318, jacked up that cover. I 
Oh, Quarry Tim Boom, The Hiding Place. Wow, that's an old one. Spire Christian Comics, 39 cents. With a sticker, 1973. Archie, The Original Shield, number four. Mighty Crusaders, number nine. Lost in Space. The Space Family Robinson lost in space on Space Station One. 1974. So, just a, a lot of stuff that's just not taken care of at all, but some really crazy good stuff in here, man. These uh, Wildcat magazines, really old, amazing stories. This one right here. 1947 is just fantastic. The Frazetta books, uh, Vampirella, some older books in here that are actually taken care of. Evil Ernie. There's some. There's some pretty crazy ones in here. The Star Wars books are all in pretty good shape, bagged and backed. Standouts in here are really cool and taken care of, and just old. Like just these old ones are just really crazy. This Amazing Stories is just blowing my mind. It's not in great condition, as you can tell. You can see the edges of it are really beat. Uh, looks like it wasn't taken, it wasn't bagged and backed until much later than it should have been. Um, but still, from 1947, and you're talking about a you know 75, 76 year old book that's still in fine condition. So that's pretty cool. The Vampirella is pretty nice. So not too bad for this episode, man. Boxes five and six. Not what I was expecting, but a lot crazier than I thought it'd be. So just some, it's, it's pretty funny how some of this just stuff, just when you think that you're looking at a pile of trash or a pile of just like regular books that aren't really going to be worth anything or do anything, like just these little things pop out. I think this, this comedy one right here has me pretty intrigued. I'm not sure what that is or where it's from. I don't see any date on it, I don't think. You never know what you're going to find, so I'll, I'll check into that and see, you know, what, what, what comes of that comedy from January, whenever. 35 cents for a little magazine, so it's got to be kind of like in the 60s, it looks like. We'll find out. In the meantime, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, if you know anything about anything that you saw here and would like to drop me a comment, I would really appreciate knowing what you know about it, because uh, I definitely got some research to do here. That's it for episode five. Come back next time. We'll do episode six. We're going to do a couple more boxes and uh, hopefully be just as surprised as we were today. In the meantime, y'all have a good one. Love you. See you next time. Bye.